Welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a first impression try on of the new Pillow Talk Dreams. I have the eyeshadow palette in two of the highlighters. I'm gonna do some comparison also of the Pillow Talk Quad and also I have, oh, I picked up the Patrick Top. It's like the Pillow Talk a Big Palette. I love this one so much. It used to be all I wore for some time and I know this, some people are so opinionated on this palette, but I love this. It is one of my most used quads that I own, and I just adore it. So yeah, if you guys are interested, continue watching. If you're new here, welcome. I'd love for you to subscribe down below if you enjoy the video, and let's put some makeup on. So I used pretty much everything Pillow Talk or Charlotte Tilbury. The foundation I have on is the new Beautiful Skin Foundation. I actually paired this with the Hourglass Primer, the Vanish, and it looks so, so good. This isn't my all-time favorite foundation, but I don't mind it. But with the Hourglass Primer, I think it looks very, very smooth and not that heavy. Uh, also, I have her uh, bronzer. I also have the Pillow Talk uh, blush, cheek to cheek. Yeah, um, this is it right here. I try to not put a ton of the glow in the center because I really wanted to see how the highlighter works. On my lips, I have the Pillow Talk lipstick, which is one of my favorites. And what else? I think that's about it. So I ordered these products from Charlotte Tilbury's website. This is the outer packaging of the box. And that's, I think, the quad, yes. And then the highlighters look like this, wrong way, just bigger. And even here, you can kind of see the colors. I ordered both highlighters. She came out with a more rosy highlighter in a bronzy one. And I thought the bronzy one didn't look that deep that I could maybe pull it off, but we'll see. Um, also, she had uh, the mascara that was like burgundy, but I don't wear colored mascara. And then she also had um, the Pillow Talk like wands which I think I have one. This is actually the Pinkasm, so it is not the Pillow Talk, but I'm not sure if those are new or are they already in the collection and they're available now. I'm not sure. Now, I don't have a concealer that I like from Charlotte Tilbury, and I used this new one from Rose Ink. Where is it? Right here. Um, I picked it up at the Sephora sale, and I kind of love it. It is not too glowy, it covers well, it blended in nicely, I like it. All right, let's look at the palette. So this is the outer packaging, just like all her other palettes, and this is the inside. It seems to have two mattes that are deeper, and then a really sparkly shade that has quite a lot of pink in there, I was not expecting that. It's almost like brighter pink, and then just this shimmery one. I'm gonna compare it to her other one. Now, a lot of people in her normal pillow tack do not like this shade right here, the topper, because it gets hard pan. And yes, it does get hard pan, but for me, I still make it work. It works well for me, even though it has the hard pan, I can, I can work around it and I love it. So these are the palettes side by side. I definitely think there's more warmth in this one and this is more pink. Almost like this is deeper version than this. Let's swatch it. Uh, I know Charlotte Tilbury has changed her shimmer formula. So I'm very curious to see if it's like that creamy version. Ooh, they look very intense. Um, I did not get the Fire Rose. I wish I did, but I just didn't get it. And I was hoping to get it on a sale or something and she never brought it back. So those are the swatches. They're much more intense than her other ones. I'll swatch the other one on this hand so you can see, but they're more intense, more pigmented, and the shimmers are different formula. Uh, the other one has more of that topper. This is straight up like shimmer. So here is uh, the original Pillow Talk and 
Here's how they look. Obviously, you can see how intense the dream pillow talk is. Um, and I think the beauty of the original pillow talk for me was that it was so soft and so effortless and it was pink but without it being too pink so initially I'm just gravitating definitely towards this one more because it's more that daily use palette and this is why I probably loved it so much and this is definitely more intense I think you can get a punchier look with this one I think they changed the formula as well this is much creamier the shimmers are more intense this even here, the mattes, I had to build them up quite a bit to get this kind of application. And the shimmers do not compare. They're, they're much less lackluster. I do think these are beautiful shades. I'm going to leave those on because I want to swatch a few from her pillow talk, like the big one, and see if there's any dupes in here. So I swatched a few right here from this palette and I don't think they're similar. Maybe the deeper shade here, which is this one right here. Um, but even that one seems to, mm, th that one's decent enough. Maybe this one right here with this one, even though this one has a lot of sparkle in it, but tone wise, those are the only two that I see any resemblance, this one and that one. And I'm talking about this one right here. So yeah, I don't think there's any repeats. So let's let's move on to the highlighters, actually. I'm gonna put this on after I put the highlighters. Here are the highlighters and look at that packaging. Oh, that is so stunning. However, I'm a little disappointed that they're not different. I was hoping the outer packaging would be a little different more brownie on one and let's open this one this is the bronzy one and see i feel like i could kind of pull that off and then let's look at the pink one and this is the pink one so these are the two colors i'm gonna show you up close so these are the two colors these you can definitely use like individually, like you could use only this one or combine these two. Um, I tend to not do that. I tend to just swirl my brush in there and put it on. So these are the ones from the light one. I'm gonna swatch them. These are the four shades. That one right there looks pretty to me and this one. Like I feel like that combination between those two would be really, really pretty. This is gonna give you a little bit more that um, purpley, definitely undertone. So you could even skip that. Like if that's just too much for you, kind of focus on these here. And what I like that she did is she did put like these two that are probably gonna be the most popular in the center and the most of all of them. Now I'm gonna swirl my finger and just mix it all together and do a big old swatch right here, right there. Oh, I like that. I think that's gonna be beautiful. And that's definitely how I'm gonna be wearing this. I'm gonna move on to this one. These are very, very creamy. I do like the way they feel. After swatching this, I'm like, ooh, maybe this is too deep. Um. Okay, they look really pretty. If you have deeper skin tone, I think this is going to be absolutely beautiful. Let me mix them all together and do a big old swatch here. There we go. This is definitely going to be way too deep for me. I had hopes though. Here you have the comparison. I'm excited. I think, I think this is just a fun new release. Um, and I think the deeper one, if I can stay away from the center one, the bronzy one right here, I think maybe I could pull it off. I will absolutely try. So I'm going to take my refer number 20 right here and I'm going to pick up a little bit of this one. Now these are powdery some, but the imprint is still there. Is this big gelée? Oh, this has a mirror. Oh, yay. Oh, a 
Okay, this is not as pink as I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be very, very pink, but I think this is pretty. Oh, yeah. Oh, I love that. It's like soft. It's very pretty. Oh, I like this formula from her because it's not that super uh, powdery. It is not this formula here. This is a little bit like more powdery and more intense. This is okay. It was in my absolute favorite. I much prefer this, that it's just almost like baked gelée. I do think that these are baked gelée. Correct me if I'm wrong, but they feel like her other baked gelée formula. I am taking this one that I've been loving so much, and this seems to have the same formula as those. So I love that because this was definitely a formula that I preferred from her rather than this highlighter. This was just too powdery and creamy but not in a way I like. I think that is so beautiful. I am loving it. Okay, I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna, I guess I'm gonna swirl it, try to keep it on the outskirts. And I'm gonna put it a little lower than the highlighter just as a blush topper maybe in case it turns out so dark. It's not that bad. Ooh, that is so beautiful. It is definitely a bit deep for me as just a highlighter. Uh, you can kind of see a shadow when I look straight that it's not brightened necessarily here. But I think I still think I can pull this off. Definitely more as a blush topper, but ooh. It is so beautiful. Actually, I think I like this one a little bit more than this one because this one's so intense. Um, it almost looks a little bit like my Peau de Peche. Just a little bit, like that kind of vibe. So this is the pink one and this is the deeper one. I didn't even read the names of this one. This is Pillow Talk Multi Glow um, and Dream Light and Romance Light. So Romance Light is the pink one and Dream Light is the deeper one. But oof, I think they're stunning. I'm very glad I bought them both. I'm going to mix them a little bit just so I don't look so crazy. I'm going to get the deeper one and add a little bit here just to blend it in. And then I'm going to take the lighter one, mix it here, and then add a little bit of my cheekbones. I'm going to do this one all over. Uh, the other one may darken me up a little bit too much if I put it like on my nose, but yeah, that's how we're looking like. I think these are both absolutely gorgeous. She did such a good job with the colors. I like that she came with a deeper one that will work so well for deeper skin tones and then a light one that works definitely for lighter skin tones. So A plus in my opinion. These are gorgeous and the packaging is just stunning. I mean, look at that. Oh. All right, let's move on to the eyeshadow palette right here. Uh, I'm gonna do one look just because we have only four options. I'm gonna take this one right here. It seems quite just reddish undertone. I'm gonna take a little bit off just in case it's too intense. And I'm gonna add that in my crease. It definitely has a bit more of that red rather than pink. And I'll be honest, when I saw the pictures that she posted with looks that she created with this, they were my favorite tones, not the looks, but the tones. I was like, ooh, I don't think that's my all time favorite. Um, but they do perform really well. They blend in fast, but I just don't, gravitate towards this kind of color in my crease. It seems to have a little bit too much red. 
However, it blends in so, so nicely. Ooh, I may love this actually. I do like that this is a deeper option because the Pillow Talk, nor the normal one, it was so light that unless you are light to fair light and light medium, you couldn't use it. So I think this is definitely nice to have. I like this color, the deep one. It's blending in really nicely and it seems to build up well as well. Definitely go slow just because these seem to be very pigmented for sure. I'm using a refer number 15 and also refer has this huge sale. I can link down their um, website I think it's like 40% off the website or something crazy like that. Oh, and so if you've been interested in refer brushes, absolutely get it. I'm taking a clean fluffy brush to just clean around the edges, just in case I went a little dark. I think those colors blended in really, really nicely, and I feel like they're kind of true to tone. Most of the time with Charlotte Tilbury, they can pull a little bit more pink or a little bit more orange than you thought, but these, I think they represent um, pretty much the same color as you see here. Um, now you can definitely do a little softer to just add this color all over the lid or the inner corner to just brighten it up. But of course we're gonna go for this pink color. And I really like this formula. It seems to be much, much creamier and more intense. So this looks pinkier here than when you apply it, it definitely um, tra like transfers differently on the eye. It's not quite as purpley as I see it in person here. That color is pretty. It's not too purpley, but you see it sparkle um, if you are in the light. It's not too much. I kind of wished it was just a little bit more of that duochrome almost because I see quite a little bit of shimmer particles in here. And when I put it on the eyes, it blends in a little bit more basic than in here. It's still pretty though. And then of course I'm going to take the lightest shade. I'm going to take this brush. This is the Isom W223 and it's the first time I'm trying it. Uh, but ooh, I like that color. I love how um, this new formula is easier to work with just because it's creamier and you can use the brushes as well. Like for the um, toppers of Charlotte Tilbury, you cannot use a brush, it won't pick up. But um, yeah, this seems to have more pigment and just be easier. On the lower lash line, I'm gonna take this one. These are very pigmented. Pretty much copy what we did on the top and then the deeper one I'm gonna take the lighter shade on my pinky and just put it in the inner corner and bring it in a little bit that's a very um, pink <laughs> It is a little bit too pink for me. It makes me look a little bit um, sickly, but no worries. I will just add a little bit of the highlighter that we just had. This one right here, I'm gonna take the lightest shade and the second shade, these two shades, and brighten up this inner corner. There we go. 
much better and I'm gonna do the same for the brow bone I'm gonna leave it here I'm gonna put mascara on and I think I'm gonna put a smudged liner I feel the need to have a liner with this look because it seems quite intense um, so I'm gonna do that and show you the finished look so I finished putting a liner. I actually used the Victoria Beckham, the burgundy liner. Um, I thought it gave it a little bit more of a softer look than the black. However, I wanted a little bit more grungy. So I went with the black in the inner corner, in the waterline, um, not inner corner, in the waterline. Uh, and I smudged that a little bit. I feel the need to go a little bit more smokier in the lower lash line since we kind of are going more grungy so I am going to get a brush I'm taking this one refer number 13 and I'm going to look straight and just go a little bit lower just to smoke it out a little bit and then I'm going to take this brush that's kind of clean and smoking it out and then with a smaller brush that I used before this is Zoeva number uh, 230 I'm taking the deeper color and I am smoking this out more and going back into that refer taking this and slowly bringing the colors down a little bit. I think when you do a smoky look, don't be afraid to go smoky, like take it lower than you think you would need to. I do think I like that a little bit better, a little bit more smokier. Uh, so this is the finished look. It is definitely smoky. I think I used that word five times in the past two minutes. Uh, just blending everything out here. Um, okay, let's talk about these products and just my thoughts. Highlighters, I just love them. I love this kind of texture. They are soft. They give such a wet look to the skin. And I have a little bit of texture here and I don't think that it emphasizes it whatsoever. Uh, if anything, it just blurs it. Uh, this has to be the J baked gelée formula because it is so just soft but it's not powdery at all and the way it sits on the skin is very um, mirror-like almost in the best way. Now moving on to the eyeshadow palette. Um, this is definitely more intense, more punchy colors. The mattes are just incredible. They're intense, but they blend out really nicely. Um, I wouldn't say that this really reminds me of a Pillow Talk collection. It actually reminds me a little bit more of the Walk of No Shame and a little bit of the Vintage Van. I do not own those, so I can't really say that they're exact dupes, but they just remind me of that more than Pillow Talk. Pillow Talk is very soft and pinky. However, I think this is really good for deeper skin tones. I think Pillow Talk, like I said before, really couldn't be used unless you're really fair or light. And I think this gives an option for other people to enjoy that same maybe vibe just for deeper skin tones. And I like it. I think the quality is really well. However, I do think you need to like these shades. You need to like more of that reddish brown Otherwise, you're not going to use this. The deeper brown right here is really pretty. But again, it has more of that red undertone. Um, this, I thought it was more pinky um, purple, but it's not. It's more of that bronzy color um, that has that red undertone. I am really looking for a specific color name. And I can't, I can't. It's on the tip of my tongue and I can't remember how to how it's called, but uh, this is really pretty, you know, a highlighter shade, but even this one has quite a bit of pink. So for me, my inner eye was just way too pink. So I had to just calm that down. But I think this one, uh, even in the center of the lid would be so beautiful um, or 
as an all over color just paired pair these two and that would be really pretty however i think the quality is incredible so if you love these shades you won't be disappointed in the quality it's extremely creamy and i definitely think it's a step up from the quality from pillow talk even though i love this and i'm probably gonna use this one much more than this one because on me obviously this gives me more of a intense look uh, this is more everyday for me i think this release is really great uh, if you like the colors the undertones you won't be disappointed with the quality. I actually think this is my favorite release that she did in quite a long time. I really liked the um, Nudegasm face palette. I love that palette. Um, and I like that these highlighters remind me of that quality. So that is all for today. Thank you so much for being here. If you have any questions or just comments, leave them down below. I love to chatting with you and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.